All right, it's really important to really look at what kind of shoes you're wearing. Um, your shoes are crucial. Your children's shoes are crucial. Um, it's, it's super important for the development of yourself as a human being to wear the right footwear. There's a few things that we spend a lot of time doing and a lot of time in, and shoes is one of them in modern day society. Um, so it's really important to, to take care of like what you wear on your feet or what you don't wear on your feet, right? That's a, that's a different issue for another day, but essentially it's not to wear shoes as often as possible. That's the goal. Don't wear shoes as often as possible if you live in an environment where that's feasible, incredible. If you don't, this is the issue, right? Most people wear really high-heeled shoes. Like, look at this shoe. Super high heel, super cushiony, just like super um, weakening for your foot. If our goal is to be as barefoot as much as possible, then being inside of this is the opposite of that goal because this is super um, like padded and when things are super padded what happens is it takes our strength and our power away and our development away the more convenience and the more comfort you have the weaker you become and it's the same as what goes for your feet okay how do you know your shoes are shit very simple one they have a high heel, okay? Unless, they, no, there is no situation in your life where you need to be wearing a high heel, period, period, period. It, it doesn't make sense. If we're talking functionality, if we're talking fashion, whatever, we're not talking fashion. Fuck your fashion. Functionality. There's no time or place as a human being where you should be wearing a heel, okay? If you win like some crazy award and you're like, you know what? I want to wear a dress or <laughs> hopefully you're not a dude listening to this and that's how you would dress. But, <laughs> but if you're a chick and you wear a heel, there's an issue. Okay. Um, that issue is your lower back, your knee your ankles, um, your spine, they're all taking a beating. And um, yeah, okay, back to this shoe. This is a high heel. This is a high heel. This is padded. And it's not even padded in the best places, right? If you think about the sensitivity of the foot, right? This is where the, there should be some sort of protection in case something falls on it. Not this, this, is in need of less protection. This is in need of some protection because more than likely, more than likely something's gonna fall on your foot and break something um, because your foot is weak, because you've been wearing a prison on your feet for your whole entire life and your whole body is suffering because of it. Your back is suffering, your spine is suffering, your neck, your knees are fucked up because of it, your ankles are fucked up, your toes are weak. You have your, you have like these fucking feet that are like this. They're like this, toe over toe. You have bunions, you have crooked feet. Your fucking, your big toe goes like this, right? Where your other toes are almost like on, it's crazy. I've seen such weak feet in my so many years of looking at people's feet when we're training. I've seen so many weak feet. I've seen so many weak feet on the beach. I've seen weak feet as from for clients i've seen weak feet in students um it's reversible people don't worry if you have weak feet one day you will have strong feet but you got to put in the work you have to put in the work because if you don't put in the work you're going to continue to have weak feet you're going to grow old and you might not even grow old you might just like hate yourself so much that you'll just like will yourself to death because you're going to be in so much pain because that's what happens with people they just will themselves to death um, I, I hung out with an 89 year old yesterday and I was sitting there meditating on the grass and she walked over to me and she like sat down in a full squat next to me and 
read a bunch of stuff to me and then got up by herself from that squat after reading something for like, I don't know, it, it might have been like six or seven minutes, maybe more, got up by herself and walked back into the house. And it's like, you're not going to be able to do that if you wear shoes like this. <laughs> back to the point. <laughs> this is a huge part of your squat. If every time you're wearing shoes like this and you squat, what's happening? What's happening? You know what's happening? You're doing a squat with your heel up, which is there's nothing wrong with that. If you're a beginner, that's great. But as an advanced squatter, you need to be here, feet flat on the ground. And this has a lot to do with your shoe because if I'm like this, that's different, that's a lot easier. And I have less stability in my heel. Okay, this is what you're looking for. This, if this doesn't like bend inside and curl up comfortably, easily, this is not a minimalist shoe. You're looking for a minimalist shoe as close to primal as possible, which is foot bare on the floor, right? So <laughs> if we're going minimalist, can I, can I get your shoe? So I'm gonna use, I have three models of shoe. <coughs> you have, we can even put them in order of how, how much they bend. Pretty much like this. This is as comfortable as it gets easily. Boom. I can roll it up, but that's because my hands are stronger than yours probably. But the reality is I can't roll up the back. You see the back doesn't roll up. So, okay. Leather shoe, more minimalist, um, very low drop. Look at the comparison. And this is a children's shoe. So if this was scaled up to an adult shoe, this would probably be bigger. So just to put it into perspective. This one, it's leather, so I think these are hand, these are like handmade or something. Yeah, these are these are incredible shoes, um, incredible shoes, super high quality. And you could like redo the bottoms and stuff on these. Yeah, I mean, incredible. Um, so next next level of minimalism. Like you might want to go to something like this. You don't want to go to like this or even less like the Vibrams right away. I mean, if you're a hardcore extremist, that's what you're gonna do. That's where I went. I went from like, uh, <coughs> I went from like Jordans and Dunks to uh, Vibrams. It was like, it was, it was like here, boom. Um, I would say that those are more minimalist, but you know what? Their bottoms have some padding that like you don't feel as much under. Um, but those are, those are good too. Okay, boom. So price, I don't know, like 20, 30 bucks, 300 bucks, 200 bucks, something like that, two, 300 bucks. Um, $16, not each for both. Okay, look. Look at that. <laughs> looking crazy it's rolled up into its uh, it's like head is in its own ass <laughs> basically <laughs> so these are the things that they wear in like the kung fu uh, monasteries um, they're cheap they're simple I think they're good looking but not everybody agrees with me but... <laughs> fuck those people shout out to Ido Portal for fucking questioning my uh, shoe choices when I was wearing Vibrams. He's just like, why are you spending $120 or $100 on these shoes and, you're, and they're fucking ugly and your feet smell? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, you need to get those shoes that are like $15. I mean, it's a Jewish perspective, obviously, right? But shout out to the Jews for figuring out how to spend less on stuff that they don't need to spend money on. 
<laughs> um, but yeah, so those are your three choices. Um, yeah, wear as minimalist as a shoe if you can. Go barefoot as much as possible. Like, I mostly walk around barefoot at this point. Um, pretty much always. Unless there's snow. That's really high. That's high. Um, I'm pretty much all year either wearing this or I'm barefoot or or I have I mean or I'm stepping in pig shit and I have mucks on or yeah or I'm like doing like a long hike yeah a long hike I would I would have I mean maybe these depending on the rock situation like bouldering and scaling and stuff but um yeah some sort of like hiking boots hiking boots depending on the weather yeah yo i'd love to get um i'd love to get like really high quality like minimalist hiking boots that would be great um if you know of really high quality um minimalist hiking boots just comment below or wherever the comment thing is just let me know which ones i should get and why all right wear better shoes <laughs>